I'm on a cold table, I'm looking up at a light, I'm scared. And a nurse comes in and she puts her hands on my face, she stands up by my head, and she goes, they're gonna take care of your baby, but I'm gonna take care of you. And at that moment, all my fears washed away. Thank you. You know, Waylon was born at 34 weeks. He had born with spina bifida. He had a large hole in his back and a large cyst on his back that ruptured sometime when my water broke. So they took him to the NICU. The next morning, about 18 hours old, they were gonna take him to surgery. Waylon was in the hospital for about two weeks and I was exhausted, I was emotionally exhausted. I was drained you know, mentally, physically. And I wanted to be as hands-on as possible with Waylon. I wanted to help with feedings. I wanted to help with diaper changes. So it was time for a diaper change and feed. And so the nurse said, do you want to help? Oh, I'd love to help. So I got up, got a thermometer out. I went to take his temperature and my hands started shaking and I just didn't feel right. And I think just the stress of the day started getting to me. And the nurse right away noticed that. She grabbed the thermometer out of my hands. She put the side of his bed back up. She wrapped her arms around me and she let me fall to the floor and just cry. The tears just, I had been holding back for, you know, really weeks at that time because, you know, since October of the previous year, we found out his diagnosis. Didn't have a chance to cry. Didn't have a chance to grieve what we didn't know what was gonna happen. And she just let me cry. She sat on the floor of that NICU room and let me cry and she held me. And then she said, okay, everything's okay now. Let's pick yourself up, go sit down. Everything is gonna be okay. She gave me confidence that I needed to pick myself back up. Every day I think about that nurse. I thank God for her. And you know, not only was she continuously saving Waylon's life every night, but she saved my life that night. You know, I fear I would have gone into a deep, dark depression had I not been able just to get those emotions out. And she let me without judgment, you know, without any kind of strings attached. She just let me cry. And it's scary having a child with a medical, a medical condition you have no idea how to take care of. And I would never go anywhere else for care, for my family, but especially for my son. It was a community of faith, hope, and love that I've never received anywhere else. You know, I think that's all you can ask as a parent is for, for have people in your corner. I'm able to, you know, tell other parents who are in the NICU or, you know, they know their baby's gonna have some kind of birth defect. You are in the best place possible. It's okay, these nurses are gonna take care of your child, these doctors are gonna take care of your child, but they're also gonna take care of you.